What do you guys think so far? How's the progress going? It's pretty. Pretty? It's <laughs> really cool. It's pretty cute. Friendly. It's cute. It's fun. It's fresh. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we're still going to include your ideas with the heart, the love heart, and the microphone. Um, the love heart, did it have headphones on or something? Yeah, like yeah. wireless. Um, I slept in a park one night and I was so scared. I didn't have a blanket. I didn't have pillows. But that's something that I had to do. I had no other choice. Um, it was something out of my control. Hey, I'm Sharice. I'm currently a caretaker at St. Bartholomew's House. Um, so Nathaniel House, St. Bartholomew's is through with Anglican now. They look after young people experiencing homelessness. Um, how I came to that position was when I was 16, I became homeless and I lived at Nathaniel House. So when I was through the system, at any time that I did need help, I knew I could always just call Nathaniel House and they would help me with whatever issues it was, whether it was I didn't have enough food or I didn't have money for the bus, they were there um, for that. So I think it's quite a good organisation. And now I'm currently studying to be a registered nurse and working as an enrolled nurse. I think the van is going to be so great for, you know, employment, education and a sense of, that sense of purpose, that sense of giving back to the community. I really want to do something about my life like I really want I really want to like for example like I want to get a house for myself I like drawing my goal is uh, I want to be like a tattoo artist because I'm pretty into art and stuff like that I think I'd be really good at it well year seven eight nine ten were easy but then year 11 is a lot harder than I thought it would be I definitely think that by the end of the year 12, I will have an idea of what I want to be in that. I feel like I'm at the point where everything's like, this is like a crossroads for me because my mental health issues weren't really addressed. Once I got into this system, I started getting like the help I needed. The adult world that the young people see, which is like school teachers and, you know, medical professionals and stuff, they're kind of like us and them. There doesn't have to be that divide. I think that's what's been really beautiful about this whole project. There hasn't been that divide. We've all been kind of equal standing. So, you know, Anita wants to be a tattoo artist. And I think Davey really shows that, you know, that's a completely legitimate profession that you can go after with all your passion and all your might, you know? Yeah, even you guys, like the camera dudes, like it really shows that there's a whole world of jobs out there that are available to people. My favourite quote that they sort of gave to me in a Christmas card was, success isn't about skill, it's about mindset, or something along that lines. Um, and it's kind of just stuck with me because I can actually see my life going somewhere where previously I just thought I had no chance at surviving. Through this program, I see myself having a life, having a chance at success.